Uh, I mean, it was it was it was a big kind of weight off my shoulders. Um, you know, this is something that I knew coming into this process. You know, from when I declared uh, out of college, um, I knew it was going to be up to me. Um, you know, not everything always goes your way. Uh, sometimes things go unplanned, and you never know what's coming. But you know, I, I, I said, you know, when I came out, whatever happens, it's up to me. You know, no matter what, whether I go first, second, third round, or I go undrafted, you know, I knew it was going to be a, a process anyway. So, you know, to be here, you know, it's a blessing, and I'm grateful. And uh, you know, I'm just thankful to everybody that supported me throughout that process, and you know, everything that happened. I'm, I'm just grateful to be here. I mean, you know, when something like that happens in my position, you know, you kind of, you, you kind of have a flash for a second, you know, like it, it could all be over at that moment for a lot of people. But, you know, thankfully, you know, I had I had performed, you know, pretty well before that happened, you know, so it, it built trust with Coach Staley and you know Coach Hill and Coach Wilhoy, you know, they had they had already built that trust with me, so um, I was grateful, you know, because uh, I, I always believe everything happens for a reason and. You know, I, I'm, I was grateful to be in the position I was in, and you know, I just talked to him to just just to make sure, you know, like I'll play. You know, I, I'm down to play. You know, I could do whatever it takes. You know, I feel great right now. Um, I could play right now. Um, but uh, you know, I just wanted to kind of have have a direction on where to go. But I definitely had a flash. Like it, it, it kind of caught me off guard for a second. You know, I, I, I wanted to stay in, but you know, after a couple plays, I was like, yeah, it, it was it was kind of bad. But now I feel great. You know, and I'm I'm just grateful to be here. I mean, life, man, life, life is crazy. You know, uh, there's, there's a lot of things that happen in everybody's individual life. And, you know, you just got to keep marching. Uh, run your own marathon. You know, don't look back and don't worry about external factors. Just control what you can control in your life. And, uh, you know, I've been through so much stuff and been all over the world in, in, my, in my journey. And, you know, this is just an, another part of the process. And, uh, you know, the odds weren't in my favor, you know, and, you know, <laughs> I'm just grateful, man. You just never know what could happen in your life. So, you know, just to, to anybody, you know, in that, in that position, just keep marching, man. Just never stop walking forward and don't look back. Uh, that, was, that was tough, man, because, you know, that was when I was in Canada. And, you know, when I first started working, I didn't have a car. So sometimes I have to walk to work, um, walk through the snow and stuff. And, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't completely, you know, like miles away. But, you know, even even – in, in cold, cold weather, you know, that was just part of, made, it made me who I am, you know, just my determination and anything I want to do in life. Uh, I just, I just march, man. Like, you know, I, some of it's unexplainable. You know, a lot of people, I remember my freshman year in college, we, uh, we had like a little thing and they said, raise your hand if you had a job. And it was only me and one of my teammates. Only two of us had jobs before. And I was kind of shocked because I was like, I thought it was normal, you know, for people to work, you know, to, to get it out. But, um, you know, th those are just different experiences I've had. And it's just, it's made me who I am. And it's molded me to be to be the person I am today. Um, yes, I was. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, that's something that I couldn't control. You know, I put it all. I, I, I trained my ass off for the for the process. You know, I, I I think I did pretty well in college as well. You know, I, I feel like I did everything I could, and that's all I could do. You know, so when that happened, that that kind of that, that that hit me differently. You know, um, and I stayed humble about it. I just put my head down, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna have to get to work. You know, because nobody has time to be feeling sorry for themselves, and nobody's gonna feel sorry for you. You know, because it's life. So you just gotta do what you gotta do. So. I set a focus. I made a promise to myself, and you know, I just went out there and I made it happen. And I'm, I, I'm thankful. Who was, who was the first person that you told? Told that, uh, uh, my brother, my brother, because you know he's been there throughout this whole process. Um, you know, he he trained me uh, when I went back for the July break, and uh, you know, we got after it, man. We was working. You know, I was up in Canada working. You know, and I I was running in the mountains and stuff, and. You know, it was it was smogged out because there was a fi uh, forest fire in the, in the province next to me, so I couldn't breathe. I had my helmet on, you know, dying out there. But I knew it was all for a reason. You know, I just I woke up every day and got after it. And 
just attacked each and every single day, and you know, here I am. I mean, my family, my mom, my, my mom set a real high standard. Um, she's a hard worker, man. She, you know, moving from Nigeria, like she, she, she dropped all she had, you know, to provide for our family. So when I look at her, you know, I, I see myself and just being determined, like she wasn't gonna settle for a normal life in Nigeria. You know, she wanted the best for her children. You know, her, my parents, you know, they just gave it all up, you know, coming from, you know, having degrees in Nigeria to coming to America and having nothing, starting from, you know, ground zero. And I saw that as a kid and, you know, that just molded me growing up, you know. Sometimes life ain't, you know, what you what you think it is, you know. Sometimes it's not always going to work out, the, you know. It's not it's not going to go how you plan it, but you're just going to have to make the best of it. And, you know, taking those lessons from my mom, you know, I seeing the way she works and her determination, you know, motivated me. So. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it's, a, it's a dream come true. Um, you know, I grew up 40 minutes down the road, and it's been a long journey just to, to get a starting spot in the NFL and for it to be with the team that I grew up loving is um, amazing and unbelievable, but uh, I'm ex extremely excited to be here, for sure. Can you put your finger on the differentiator? Of winning the job? Um, you know, I was focused on what I was doing throughout camp, and... I think I put out a good product, and I was able to show what I could do, and um, I was, you know, lucky enough to gain their confidence, and they decided to go with me in the end of the day. So yeah. I grew up in Chino Hills. I went to Damien High School in Laverne. No, um, absolutely not. I, I knew I had the talent, um, but clearly coming out of college, I knew I also needed to improve. I wanted to be able to kick it at NFL level. And I knew that if I put the time in and dedicated myself to it, that eventually it would happen. And um, it has been a long ride, but uh, it's all been worth it. So yeah. Uh, I lived at home for <laughs> for about three years. Um, no, luckily my parents were amazing enough to support me um, throughout that time and, and help me do the things I needed to do to, to get to this point. Um, you know, I was also fortunate enough to get on some practice squads, so I had a decent amount of income that I could pay for, for travel expenses or, um, you know, going to different combines or camps that would give me the opportunity to be seen by teams. Um, but no, no other jobs. I, I was pretty dedicated to my craft at that point. So yeah. Christian, what have you learned through your journey of uh, being in practice squad, uh, joining this team, and uh, what, have, what have you kind of learned about yourself? Um, what have I learned about the journey or about myself? Um, you know, I've learned that the NFL is a crazy business, and um, you know, you got to bring it every day, and you got to show up, and um, you know, with enough dedication and the right focus, uh, you can improve and, and get to where you want to go. And I, I think most importantly, I learned that it's not about how fast you get somewhere. It's about where you're going and, and really to having the patience to go down that, that road. Um, what have I learned about myself? Um, I think I've maybe confirmed some beliefs I had about myself in terms of just, you know, being willing to stick something out, um, yeah, and maybe some other things I'd like to, you know, keep personal, but yeah. Why do you feel like you're the right team? Why do you feel like the Chargers made the right choice? Um, I feel like they made the right choice because I know how much work I've put in and um, how much practice and time I've put in. I've surrounded myself with the right people and, and that I'm ready for, the, for this opportunity, and so, so that's probably, that's why. Yeah. Uh, I was kicking back when I first started playing football, you know, before I was probably 10 years old. Um, you know, it was funny. I was actually talking to my friend's dad who my first year playing football, he was holding balls for me before practice. And, um, 
you know, it's crazy to think back how, how long ago that was, but that was really where it all started. I mean, I grew up playing soccer, so um, I definitely had the ability to kick a ball, um, but I enjoyed kicking. And so I always had a, a strong leg. Um, I don't, you know, I didn't know comparably how strong of a leg I had, but I knew I could, I could kick it pretty far. So, yeah. Great. Um, Ty was actually at one of my first workouts um, where I got signed with the Bengals, and that's where we met. Uh, they actually put us in the same room the night before the workout. We had to compete with each other, which was funny. Um, but me and Ty have a great relationship, and um, I couldn't be more thrilled that he's the guy that's going to be you know, holding for me and, and helping me through this, this rookie season. So uh, I think it's going to be very beneficial having him around. Yeah, I remember um, a few things. I remember when they first told me that I was going to be kicking. During that time, you had to go through a five-day protocol before you could work out with the team. And I had worked out with them the previous week, and then they brought me back. And they weren't sure if Robbie had had COVID at that point. And so um, that Tuesday, they had told me that I was kicking. And it was, I mean, to go through different practice squads. And I spent like over a month just doing COVID protocol to get workouts at that point. Um, it was it, it was insane to find out that the last game of the season would be the one that I'm kicking in. Um, as far as the game goes, I just I remember feeling you know confident and and prepared more than anything. Um, it was a lot of fun, and those the coaching staff up there is amazing, great people, and I couldn't be more grateful for them for giving me that opportunity and trusting me in that moment. Um, yeah, I think that was that was huge for getting started. Yeah, when you reflect on that, I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy that that one game ended up giving you this opportunity to kick the camp. Like, obviously, it just makes a lot of really today. But when you have time to reflect on it, what's going to come into your mind? Like, how are you going to sort of frame it in terms of just how unique the opportunity was given the COVID circumstances and all that? Yeah, I mean, I think that opportunity was a culmination of a lot of, of work and time spent. Um, but like I said, the 49ers organization was, you know, amazing for letting me take the reins there and giving me that opportunity. And I think more than anything, I'm just grateful for that. Yeah. Why the number 16? Uh, I didn't actually choose the number 16. Uh, I had a few other choices, but I think they're already taken. So we'll ride with it. It's all good. <laughs>